At the Home Helpers, we are always looking for good quality contractors that do a great job for their clients. Sometimes folks have problems with the roof. And today we're with Roof Depot, and we're going to be talking about attic ventilation and problems related to that. How are you guys doing? Good. good. Pretty good. Nice to see you, Scott. Good to see you. Is Michael, that? nice to see you. So, tell us what we've got going on today. We're going to tell you everything you want to know about ventilation, but we're afraid to ask. Okay. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be an expert when we're done here. Uh, we're going to walk you through some of the problems that you deal with if you have improper ventilation. Okay. Right. V ventilation and, and the importance of ventilation in the attic is air moving through your attic is just like you and I breathing. Okay. okay. You have to have proper airflow from your solvent vents out through the top. Airflow dictates how long your, your roof is going to last. It's extremely important. Yes. If it gets it too hot, damages your shingles. That's right. Well, and that's, and that's the symptoms that you're going to find. Most people are not aware they have a problem until they start to see some things happening on the roof that, that scares them, right? Okay. One is excessive granule loss. You see a lot of granules in your gutter when you're cleaning it. That's an indication that your roof may have a ventilation problem. Okay. You also start to see blistering on your roof, little pop marks all over the roof because the attic is so hot, it starts baking the shingle from the inside out. And, that would scare and, me. Uh, it should because the, now your life of your roof has just dropped considerably. And then lastly, the overlooked fact homeowners have when you replace the roof, if you don't have correct ventilation, uh, it voids your warranties. If you have a problem with those shingles down the road, the manufacturer comes out and they take a look at them, they see you have the wrong ventilation or not enough ventilation, they won't uphold their warranties for you. You know what, I think that's a really important point. So if, the, if you've got other issues going on in the attic, you don't want to void the warranty on your roof. That's correct. That's it. You spend a lot of money for those warranties, you need to make sure it's protected. Now let me ask you a question. We're going into the fall and Christmas is right around the corner. How, does this, how do we affect that with right now? Well, it's, it's just as important in the winter as it is in the summer. People always worry about how hot their attic is, but when you close off your house for the winter, you start running dishwashers, washer and dryer, showers, Okay. hot air rises to a cold attic, and now you get condensation developing. So you get you, problems from both sides. That's right. You want to have air flow through your attic year round. You want a, you want a cool, dry attic in the, in the winter time, and you want a uh, warm, dry attic in the summer. Now, most of the air is coming from the soffits, and you've got insulation in the attic. Tell us how that works. Well, when someone gets blown in insulation, typically uh, a reputable contractor will put baffles up along the edges around the, the, the edges of the, of the attic, so blown in insulation won't go over and block up your soffits. However, if your contractor, uh, your insulation contractor, did not put baffles in, you could have insulation sitting over your soffits, which would impede airflow from the bottom. You know what, that's an important piece. Guys, hang on with us, we're gonna be right back. You're watching The Home Helpers, so we'll be right back. Okay. We're back with Roof Depot and we're talking about attic ventilation, making sure that it's done properly. How you doing, guys? Doing right. good. So tell us what we've got going on here. I'm gonna walk you through the evolution of uh, ventilation from the least effective to the most effective. Okay. Uh, first of all, the, the least effective piece of ventilation most builders build into the homes is, is a gable vent. All right. Those are those slats that you see on the outside of your house where air is, the whole concept is that hot air will, will escape through those slats. One end of the house and the other end of the house. That's correct. Okay. And, and the problem with that is, is it doesn't circulate the air whatsoever. It right. just lets hot air build up and eventually it escapes. Okay. Okay. Then they went on to what we call the static vent or the turtle back, or in some case the box vent. Right. Uh, which looks a little bit like this right here. This is an example of one that uh, is plastic. This basically is the same principle as the gable vent, though you'll have more of these on your roof than you would on the gable side. And the hot air rises, comes up through, and escapes through the top of the vent. Now, Zed, all this is, basically, in your roof, is a 12 inch by 12 inch hole. It's a hole in the roof. It's, that's that's exactly all it right. is. That's all it is. And the hot air escapes through convection, just like your oven. Unfortunately, it doesn't promote air movement at okay. all. So now, what's a better solution? Well, now we start to get into those the devices that will actually start circulating the air that we talked about. Uh, the first line of that is the turbine, which air starts to blow on your roof. It turns these turbines around and it sucks the air out through your attic and, and up air refreshes it through your soffit. Okay. Which sounds great. It's cost effective. The problem is these things don't have a very long shelf life. I was going to say, you don't see them very much anymore. No, they, no. No, they rust out for one. And two, they're one of the major causes of leaks on a roof from a ventilation perspective. Right. And now to the now to the top two, the most famous uh, ventilation you can get. Right, we start with the power fan. The power fan uh, is driven by electricity, and it pulls very powerfully pulls that air from that soft vent and recirculates it in and out of the out of your uh, your attic. Okay. Power. The only downside to a power fan really is that it runs on electricity, which will increase the bill just slightly. 
but also they tend to wear out over periods of time too. So you have to replace those motors periodically. Okay. So what's a better solution? Well, the most the most effective solution that we have that we have found we, we recommend is the is the ridge vent. Um, now most houses can use ridge vent, but not every house is a candidate. You have to have a minimum length of ridge in order to use this properly, depending on the size of your attic. This is a Cobra 3 product made by GAF that we use, and this is before the shingles are put on. And here is a, uh, a cutaway that you can see how ridge vent is installed along with the shingles over the top of it. Um, before these type of ridge vents were made, they were, and we still see them installed on older roofs, is they were made out of aluminum. Okay. Okay. The these the the, the new versions of, of the ridge vents. First off, they look a lot better because you have shingles on top of them. Secondly, they don't dent, um, or, or or they do a lot better in in in, in storms, in storms and whatnot. And these also have uh, winged baffles here on either end. And the importance of of these baffles um, is what drives this type of ridge vent. Now, I think it's important to note that the roof decking's been cut back. So that draws the air out of the soffit through to the top of the roof and allows it to vent on the two sides. Is that correct? That's correct. So this is a low cost, very effective means of ventilating the roof. Yes. No moving parts, works year round. It's a great system. So if someone thinks that they've got problems with the roof and they need some assistance, how do we get in touch with you? Give us a call at 1-800-MY-ROOFER or they can always go on the website at roofdepotpros.com. Awesome. We'll be glad to help you. Guys, thank you so much for taking some time and teaching us about attic ventilation. You've been watching The Home Helpers. We'll be right back.